So it's very early in the morning and I've just decided um, that I'm going to drive all the way down to Dorset and film Sunrise using this the Phantom 4 and really really tired. Um, what is it? It's 20 to 1 but why not? Hey? I need to shoot some footage for a music video so here we go. Let's, uh, let's go to Dorset. <laughs> Okay, it's actually 1.30 now, because <laughs> um, obviously if you're going to go on a film shoot, however small, you need to get all your gear ready, and if you had no idea you were going to go, then you're not going to be ready. Anyway, now I'm ready, and the car's fueled up, and I'm ready to go, and this is crazy, because I'm even tired than ever, but a bit of energy drink should help. The beach awaits. Two hours. Get there at 3.59. What am I doing? It's now 3.43 and I'm now half an hour late. And so I've just seen a sign for Durdle Door, so we are heading in the right direction. Of course I've put the heaters on full blast now to try and really heat the car before I uh, before I get a couple of hours. Turn right at Church Road. Whoever lives here may not appreciate me just turning up what the heck is this? So I found the car park, but I got um, turned away by security. Very nice guy, but um, he just advised me where to come and park. So I have to. I'm going to have to walk a bit further in the morning. So it's um, half past four, and I'm going to try and get a bit of sleep now. I'm still trying to charge this iPad. It charges so slowly, and this is actually a problem if you're using the Phantom Four because I mean this this thing. I've been charging it all the way here, and I've got about another twenty percent in it. I foolishly didn't charge it before I came, and it's a big problem because for some reason the Phantoms drain the battery of the iPad or the iPhone that you're using so and now neither of them are full battery so somehow I've got to charge them before tomorrow because if they're not going to work then I can't film so yeah I don't exactly know what I'm going to do but we'll have to worry about that in the morning. Good night. Just an hour of sleep. <laughs> it's 5.26 I couldn't sleep I'm desperately trying to charge this uh, the iPad and now that's actually charging it a lot quicker than the car can. But what I'm doing is a little bit of camera preparation because I've realised I've got an ND8, uh, ND16 filter on there which is a very strong filter which is great for bright sunshine. But I'm thinking uh, if I'm trying to film sort of in semi-darkness in the dawn I really don't want such a strong filter on that. So if you don't know what an ND filter is it's basically it's called a, it's a neutral density filter and it's basically like sunglasses for your camera. You don't need to have it on there to film but it allows you to film at sort of like the best settings really that's sort of my limited knowledge of it and it but it definitely does improve it you know it improves your footage no end provided you've got the right settings so i'm gonna switch this one and this is incredibly tricky to do in a car i wouldn't recommend this best to prepare before you leave so that's on we're nearly ready to go seeing as i have no idea how far away the beach is and sunrise is at 7:12. I figure that we better go now. Newlands Farm, Durdle Door. That way. I swear he said it was this way. Better follow that. Oh god. Right. Bloody steep hill. So I don't know how much of this you can see. Um, it looks like the dawn's coming up over there. It's 6.20 and there's someone actually down on the beach over there. You could see them from their light, from they're just looking at their phone. And it's funny, you know, there's, there's always someone somewhere on a bit of technology, even on a beach at uh, you know, 6 in the morning. But I think, apart from this person who I think must have spent the night, it's just me and obviously dawn is coming. I'm getting ready, I'm just hoping to god that the, that the camera on the Phantom can, can pick it up in this light. It's very nice here, it's very clear which is brilliant um, but I think the best first shot of the actual sunrise is going to be up here. I'm actually standing on some kind of second world war bunker.
and it's a very beautiful day today. It doesn't feel like a very good idea. Bear in mind it is the 2nd of October.